BPM stands for beats per minute, and in the French film of that name, the number of beats is 120, presumably the number of beats most preferred in dance music. But this isn't a party film, although it is a party political film. It's about the increased radicalisation of the ACT UP movement in Paris during the 1990s, when their members, most of whom are HIV positive, are urging action on a sluggish government, they're protesting the slowness of drug companies in developing measures against AIDS, while trying to inform young people about the dangers of unprotected sex. At the heart of the film is the love story between Jeanne Nahuel Perez Biscaya and Natan Arnaud Valois. Jeanne is HIV positive and his body is starting to show the effects of that, while Natan is HIV negative. Apart from the sex, the most intimate moments between Jean and Natan are when they share their past. BPM was directed by Robin Campillo and co-written by him and Philippe Mongeau, both of whom were involved with ACT UP at the time, and they drew on their experiences for the story they tell. There's a heartbreaking authenticity to this film. It's truly moving as the group copes with the intransigence of authorities and pharmaceutical companies with anger from the general populace, with their own frustrations and internal disagreements, and with the sadness as one by one their friends die. The three central performances are just outstanding, Nahuel Perez Biscaya and Arnaud Valois particularly wonderful. The film won the grand prize of the jury in Cannes last year and swept the pool at the French Césars, winning best film amongst six others. If there is a criticism to be made, it is slightly too long, but it is nevertheless a fine achievement for all concerned. It's an extraordinary film yeah. in, on so many levels. It's um, like a, a really intense, visceral uh, cinema verite documentary yeah. on the one hand, and on the other hand, it's like a, a social melodrama, and it's constructed in such an unorthodox way. You Sort of four sequences, in a sense, a juxtaposed. There's a, a series of very, very long sequences that are absolutely irresistible, strangely enough, paradoxically enough, that are set in a, a university uh, lecture hall, um, juxtaposed with scenes, vibrant, vibrant scenes uh, in dance halls and uh, rage parties uh, against the street demonstrations uh, and against the love affair. And basically there's yeah. four components to juxtapose throughout the, the two and a half hours of the film. That's all there is. And it's just, you know, you just keep wondering how a director can actually follow this structure. But he does it in the most yeah. extraordinary, irresistible kind of way. This is just incredible filmmaking. Do you know, it's sort of like, it's what cinema is about. It's cinema which ought to be about seeking some sort of truth. And at the heart of this film, you feel that there is real truth, you know, that these people went through it, they're representing it the way they saw it. But as you say, they brought all their skills to the forefront mm -hmm. to construct it so fabulously. It is incredible. So, I, I thought it was really moving, really moving, and extremely well done. And I would give this four and a half stars. Well, I'm giving it five. It's one of the most extraordinary films I've ever seen, I must say. I was absolutely and totally gripped by this for every single second of it. Yeah.